welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, but hopefully going to be a regular on my channel. A while back, I told you guys that I have spent this quarantine reading. At the time, I had taken a few months off of YouTube because I just needed to get my head right, and I binge read the whole time. Since March 6th, I have read 222 books. Crazy, I know. Uh, but that's how much I love to read. I do have a Goodreads now, but I didn't start actually using that until like a few months ago. But on my iPad, when I read, it actually, like I linked my Goodreads to it. And so it automatically logs everything as I read it. So that's like super cool. I don't have to go in and do it myself. For me, before I started using Goodreads, I was logging everything on my cell phone and my notes. Like here's like my whole list of all the books that I've read since March 6th. So that's how I know how many books I've read. And even though I am using Goodreads, I still keep my little list on my phone because it was already a habit. Now, let me just say that while I do prefer actual books, hardback books preferably, that's not always what's the most convenient or the easiest or the cheapest. So I do use Kindle Unlimited because it's $10 a month and you can read all the books you want, as many as you want, that are available on Kindle Unlimited. And there are tons of good series on there for free. And then books that aren't free on Kindle Unlimited are usually discounted significantly to be able to read on the Kindle. And you can read, you don't have to have a Kindle to actually use the Kindle app. You can download, download it on your phone, your iPad, your Android, whatever you have, and the app works just the same. There's no way that I would have been able to afford 222 books since March to be able to read that much. So that comes in super handy for me. And also I have my list on my phone and if I really love a book or a series, I put an exclamation point at the end of it so that I remember that and then I put those actual books on my Christmas wish list or birthday wish list or whatever and those are the books that I ask for so that I have the actual hard book copies in my hand and this also saves me because you know have you ever just like bought a book and it you just really didn't like it or couldn't get into it or whatever and it's like man I spent so much money on that book and I just don't even feel like it was worth it this solves that problem especially if you can read it for free on Kindle Unlimited and then if you don't like it, you don't have to purchase it. And if you like it, you can purchase it if you want to. My favorite type of books need to have a romance in them. I like a good mix of romance and story. So to start this list off of my favorite romance type books that I have read during quarantine, I'm going to start off with the ones that you guys probably have already heard about uh, because this is all that book talk talks about the first one being the house of blood and earth from sarah j moss and crescent city this book is so good i will tell you it took me about 200 pages to get into it but i feel like with sarah j moss that always happens they always kind of start off a little bit slow and it takes a minute to get into it but once you do like oh my god this is like 600 and something pages let me look no this is 800 pages and those last 600 pages are some of the best pages of a book I've ever read. It's so good. This is a fantasy series, but it does have romance. But it takes like 200 pages to start getting into the romance because it is an enemies to lovers, which means that they start off not liking each other, can't stand each other, and then it progresses from there. So I'll just give you like the synopsis without spoilers. So I'll tell you kind of like the synopsis that it gives on the book here. And it's about a girl named Bryce and she has like the perfect life with all of her friends and she parties and just has a good time all the time. And then um, a demon comes and murders all of her closest friends and then she finds herself in the middle of an investigation. Hunt is a fallen angel and he's kind of enslaved to the archangels that he tried to overthrow at one time. And so his job is to like be the assassination, the, the assassination, to be the assassin for them. And so the archangels have put Hunt on this case with Bryce to figure out where the demon came from and all this stuff. So it's really good. This, the world building, the storytelling, everything is amazing. I cannot recommend this book enough. Please hang in the first 200 pages. It does have a story. So it, 
you know, but it just, like, for someone like me who wants, like, a kind of romance, it does take a little bit of time to get to it. But once it does, I could not eat or sleep or anything until I finished this book. It was so good. The next series that I want to recommend is from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. She is one of my favorite authors, and she's everybody's favorite author on Book Talk. I'm just telling you, you cannot scroll through TikTok, Book Talk, without finding recommendations for this book and there's a very good reason for it. This is a series. This is the first book in the series. The second book in the series is called Kingdom of Flesh and Fire and I did read these on Kindle but I have put them on my Christmas wish list to have copies, hard book copies because they are that good. Just for an example, the Kindle price would usually be $17.99 and it is $5.99 if you have Kindle Unlimited so that again saves a lot of money and so a little bit of the synopsis from the actual listing so that I don't spoil anything for you guys is that this is about a girl named Poppy and she is a maiden and again this is a fantasy series her life is very solitary she's not allowed to speak to anybody she's not allowed to look at anybody she's not about allowed to be looked upon she wears a veil all the time and she's supposed to do that until the day of her ascension it's supposed to make her like a higher being and so her duty is the entire kingdom's future rest on Poppy's shoulders, something she's not even quite sure she wants for herself because a maiden has a heart and a soul and longing. And when Hawk, a golden-eyed guard honor, bound to ensure ascension, enters her life, destiny and duty become entangled with desire and need. He incites her anger, makes her question everything she believes in, and tempts her with the forbidden. So again, this is an enemy to lovers book and when the lovers part happens it is quite descriptive so if there's anybody under age reading this i probably wouldn't recommend this i would just say that it probably every book that i recommend mostly is going to be for adults so i just want you to keep that in mind and i also want you to check trigger warnings on books i don't think that this book has a trigger warning but don't take my word for it ever always look this up for yourself. A trigger warning means that it could have things like drugs or eating disorders or R asterisk PE. I don't want to say the word because that can be triggering. So just make sure that you check. Most books will have on Amazon a trigger warning um, at the bottom to let you know so that you aren't caught off guard. This is a series that I just finished and it's called The Bridge Kingdom by da Danielle L. Jensen. And I loved this series so much. I loved the first book more than the second book. The first book gave me so much anxiety that I could not even function. It's like, you know that something's going to happen, but you don't know when it's going to happen. And it just kind of leaves you in suspense for a while. And it's just like, I couldn't put it down. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning and finished this book and then immediately downloaded the next one and started on that one as well. This story is also a fantasy story and it's about a girl who was raised by her evil king dad. Um, her and like 12 other girls were raised all for the sole purpose of creating an alliance with another kingdom. And so one of the girls is to be chosen to be picked to go and marry the king but to be a spy. Okay, the first chapter, like, gets you immediately because I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but, like, a huge thing happens and you're, like, automatically, like, oh my god, do I even like this character because this is so wrong. It's so good. I cannot even tell you. I could not put this down. The second book was really, really well good as well. There was a lot of stuff that I really loved about it. The only thing that I didn't like about it was the ending. And while I liked the ending, I just felt like we didn't get enough. Like, after everything that happened, it just... It's like, I look down and I'm like, surely there's gonna... There must be a book three because there's only like 20 pages left. And it feels like there's so much more to, to do. But no, as soon as the... As soon as the big thing happens... It's over and it's like they didn't give us any after do you know what I'm saying like any after everything happened so that kind of like I was like I could I wanted a little bit more 
but the series was so good I can't help but recommend it. This next book is just a standalone book and I usually prefer series but this one's a pretty long book. I think it's like 500 pages around there and it's really good. It's called Den of Vipers but this one definitely has trigger warnings and it's also a reverse harem book. And what a reverse harem is, it means that or the main character in the book has more than one love interest. You know, like they say, like a, a man has like a harem of women. Well, it's like the reverse. It's like a woman who has like several men. I did not think I was going to like this genre of book. I did not think I'd like reverse harems. I read, started reading one by accident one time because I did not realize what a reverse harem was. But I actually ended up really liking it. So this one does have a lot of trigger warnings. It's about a girl and her dad, her piece of crap dad, owes this like gang a debt and he sells his daughter, who's like a grown woman, but he sells his daughter to this gang. Well, it's definitely like enemies to lovers, but it's a reverse harem as well. So she does have more than one love interest and she doesn't have to choose but definitely check out the trigger warnings but this is a really good book and also spice level um is off the charts it makes it hard to rate any other spice level book because this one is like so high up there so it does go into very much detail about everything. This next series is called Saint the Saint View High series and the first book in that one is called Devious Little Liars and this is a high school bully romance reverse harem. That's a mouthful but those are some triggers. It's about a girl and her uncle like is everything to her and raised her. He's like headmaster at a school. It's like a prep school or whatever. They're both at the school at the time and she's like practicing music or something and he's like, or the piano and he's in his office and then the building catches on fire and she runs to go and see him or whatever and he dies in the fire. She starts to choke on the smoke and somebody carries her out of the building. She is like passing out and she doesn't see who it is but she sees the initials for St. View High on the guy's shirt after the police investigate this is all in the beginning of the book so it's nothing like that's gonna like spoil anything the police realize that this was a murder and she is a suspect so she enrolls herself into saint view high which is a rough kids the rough side of town school with like drugs and metal detectors and all this stuff and she enrolls herself there to try to figure out who killed her uncle and the series is really good, but definitely check all the trigger warnings. And again, this is a reverse harem. The next series is called the Madison Kate series. And this is by Tate James. And the first book in the series is called Hate. This is also another reverse harem series. So the Madison Kate series is free on Kindle Unlimited. And so was the St. View High book. And this is about a girl who went to this party one night or whatever and somebody got stabbed and everybody thought it was her and that she died and then it wasn't. Then she got wrongfully accused of something and got shipped off and then she comes back. She gets to come back home and her dad's like a big political person or something in their town and she comes back and turns out that three of the guys that she met the night that all this happened are living in her house. It's also an enemy to lovers but it's also a reverse harem and it is really really good. This is the book that got me into reverse harems. This is one I read. I did not realize what a reverse harem was and I did not know how that was going to work but this is so good. I love this series. Definitely check it out. This next series is called Tra Crave by Tracy Wolf. This series is so good. It is not a reverse harem. Don't worry. Um, but it is like a fantasy type series. It's got vampires and werewolves and all of that good stuff. And it's about a girl who goes to an academy. Her parents have died or whatever. And she's moving in with her uncle who's the headmaster of an academy. And she starts to realize that things are weird. There's some like supernatural stuff going on. And she meets this guy named Jackson Vega. And he is hotness personified. And he is a vampire. And I think that's pretty much all that needs to be said about that. I don't know if I'd call this enemies to lovers, but maybe like a little bit. 
and it's really really good and I had a hard time putting this book down and the second one just came out I've started it but I haven't finished it yet this is the velvet series by Temple West and this is so good it's about a girl she goes to live with like her aunt and uncle I think it's been a while since I read this one. This was one of the first that I read. But she ends up with this hot next door neighbor. And he is like half demon. And she ends up, he ends up saving her life because she ends up on a demon's radar. And so the, the hot neighbor guy, I think his name is Aiden, decides that he should be her pretend boyfriend so that he can be her bodyguard at school and everything and take care of her and it's really really good there's two books in this series there's gonna be a third and we've waited forever for the third book but I don't know when it's coming out that's the only thing I had to say like if you want to read the series just be prepared that you're gonna have to wait on that third book I do sign up for the emails from Temple West and she did send out one not too long ago saying that she was going to spend some time at her mom's house and the last time she did um, she pumped out most of one of these books and so she was hoping that that would like inspire her to start writing again so I don't know I haven't heard any updates but I'm hopeful that the third book will come out hopefully in 2021 or something because this is a very very good series this is The Rich Boys of Burberry Prep year one this one's called Filthy Rich Boys this is a reverse harem high school bully romance so the boys kind of like a bully this girl so this series I really enjoyed but there are trigger warnings so make sure that you check those and this is by the author C.M. Stonich I just want to say like I know I'm recommending a lot of reverse harems because that's like kind of what I've gotten into recently and I know that's kind of like a weird genre if you're not used to that type of book but just give it a chance and see if you like them because I did not think that I would but I actually end up really liking them. Some of them I don't like. Some of them I really love. It's just like with any kind of book series. This is the Marked Magic Chronicles. And the first book is called Insidious by Victoria Evers. This series is so good too. And it's got all the things you love. Like, like supernatural stuff. It is a fantasy series. And I would liken it to that of the Vampire Diaries and stuff like that. And it's about... A girl who's like coming into powers but she doesn't know what she's like becoming and it's an enemy to lovers and she needs help from this guy named Reese that she cannot stand even though he's gorgeous um, because one of the princes of hell has decided that she is his mate and she needs to figure out a way not to become a princess of hell so that's what this series is about and it's so 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 good I could not put this down this series is called this is the marked series not to be confused with the book the marked in the house of night series that's separate that's a whole different series but every time i recommend this book people ask me if it's that one so i wanted to clarify that it's not that one this one is by bianca scardoni and the first book in this series is called inception and this is like twilight but better it's got like angels and vampires and stuff and witches but oh my god listen i flew through these books because i could not put them down it does have a love triangle but it rivals the whole jacob and edward twilight one because this one's so much better with twilight you were either team this one or team that one and i did not want her to be with jacob and we all know that new moon sucked who liked that book i don't know not me but these books if she switches from like if something happens and she's with the other one it's not boring like it was with Jacob and for all of you Jacob lovers don't come for me on that you know it's the truth I don't care what you say but this is so much better it's so so good like I'm dying for the next book it was supposed to come out in December and I just got an email saying that it's not coming out on the day that it's supposed to I don't know when it's coming out now um I think there's like five or six out already and I've already read them all. I cannot recommend this series enough. It's probably one of the best series that I've read the whole entire year. I would put that one, the Sarah J Moss Crescent City book and the Blood and Ash series, like all of those right at the top. Okay, so the last two series that I want to recommend are by Jennifer L. Armitrout, who also did the Blood and Ash series. 
and this one is called the dark element series and the first book in this one is called white hot kiss and this series is really good the reason why i'm bringing this up is because everybody is recommending her series the harbinger series which i'll show you in a minute because it's a new series that she started but that is a spin-off of this series so you need to read this series before you read that one so that you understand a lot of the things that happen and where everything's coming from and you understand the main characters in that one more from reading this one and both series are amazing but if I'm going to be completely honest with you this series to me is better than the Harbinger series I really love that one but I loved the main like love interest in this one more than the other one it's about angels and gargoyles and this one is like an enemies to lovers but it's also a love triangle type of situation and this girl she thinks that she's only like half gargoyle and so then she's not cured some things happen and she needs help and this demon the prince of hell comes to help her his name is Roth so it's like her and Roth and the guy that she grew up with who's like she's really close to that she's been in love with for like years and then she meets this new guy Roth that is everything that she's not supposed to and like or associate with or whatever I just cannot oh my god I know I've said this about every book that I've recommended but this one is so so good so good and so this is the Harbinger series which is after that and it is about whichever guy she doesn't pick and his story after everything that happened in the other series so read that one first and then read this one they're both really really super good don't want to put down good yeah i recommend all of those again this is by jennifer l armitrout that's it for this edition of books that i would recommend if you guys like this video please let me know in the comments and let me know what kind of books you would like suggestions on or if there's a book you're interested in please comment them down there and if i've read it i will let you know in my next video because i would like to do more of these and even just give you guys reviews on books that I'm currently reading. Books are a huge part of my life so this is something that I want to share with you guys. Anyways I love you all so much. Thank you for tuning into this video. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What books you want reviews on. Things like that and I will see you in my next one. Also if you read any of the books that I recommend please leave me a comment and tell me your opinion on that book. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.